Hello friends, welcome to this video. I had the idea for this video last week and I really wanted to film it, but last week we were just inundated with orders so the entire video would have just been me packing orders, which I can't show that much of because of people's addresses and stuff. But I have got a lot going on this week, so I figured this would be a perfect week to film a like my work week video so you guys can see generally what I do every day. Um, should be super good. So today is Sunday, it is about 12.30 exactly, actually, um, and I just got to the store. I'm going to check the store email accounts, the first thing I do when I get here every day, and then I'm gonna print off the orders. Got about 30 orders to do today, and then go from there. But yeah, just gonna get a start on the day. Okay, excuse the fact that I am recording my screen with my phone, but now what I have to do is go through all the orders. I technically don't have to do this because the system is supposed to do this except for very specific orders, but I check the weight on them all. So this one's just a sticker set and it doesn't have a weight set. Um, so I make sure the weight is correct because that's what the package is calculated at. So I have to make sure that whatever they're buying is gonna be just about this weight. So I'm gonna go through the orders. I had three orders that I had to do manual orders because it's either adjusting addresses or sending uh, reshipments or correcting customer service issues. So we have 30 orders exactly to do today. Okay guys, it is one o'clock now. It took me about 30 minutes to get all the orders printed off and respond to all the emails. I got my pick list. I'm gonna pick all the items I need to ship out today and then we're gonna get to packing orders. All right guys, so now I am on Uline. I'm trying to find boxes that I can use to ship the water bottles in if they've got something that is like a water bottle and a sticker or a water bottle and a pin. Um, so I just need a little bit more room than the boxes we currently have. So right now I'm looking at these 10 by 5 by 5s. Um, this will probably fit the water bottle. The water bottle is 10, fits in a 10 by 4 by 4, I think. Maybe even by 3, I'm not sure. But the two extra inches will probably be good. And these are pretty reasonably priced. So I'm going to order these because they have quick shipping so I should be able to get these on Tuesday um, but I'm just gonna look at what other boxes they have to see if anything else might be better so normally when I'm ordering on Uline I will go through my order history and look at everything I've ordered just to see if there's anything I'm running low on that I forgot that I need to order and I will get those so yeah um, but I don't think I'm that low on anything else right now there's some stuff that I will I generally always order um, especially like the uh, poly mailers we go through these like crazy so normally if I'm putting in an order I'll just get another box of them if you guys don't know Uline is a website that sells everything you would need for like shipping and warehouses but you have to buy in like bulk um, so if you're looking to just buy like a couple boxes or whatever really not going to work for you but if you have like an etsy store or anything and you need shipping supplies uline is the place to go also if you come under special offers and you come down they always have what's on sale but then they also have overstock supplies and i always check this just to see if there's anything i need that is currently on sale so i would highly recommend checking these out all right guys, so I'm getting more of these eight by eight by four boxes. This is what we use to ship snapbacks. I just checked and we're running low on them. So I'm gonna order these and they should be here Tuesday at the latest. Okay, so orders are packed and now I need to clean this packing station area and I need to consolidate all the trash cause I can put out the trash today. 
I do have this TV above the packing stations. I have Ray stream on right now. I've muted it for this clip, but normally I just watch YouTube or Twitch streams while I'm packing. But yeah, I'm gonna clean up this area and then I will show you what it looks like once I'm done picking it up. All right, so now the packing area is all clean. Probably gonna wipe it down because you can see how dirty kind of the top is, but everything is put away. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do today is pack sticker packs. So these are for the right emotes ones. We are completely out, so I need some. Um, Cause I actually have an order that I'm one short for. So we're gonna pack some more. Um, they come to us individually and then I have to individually pack each one. So each sticker pack gets one of these stickers and then this just seals and that's all I gotta do. So I'm gonna work on that. Okay, these are done. There's a bunch in here. Got like half of them done. So I did the stack I had, which is about 50 of them, I believe, and I have another 50, but this will last us a while so I can wait to do the other ones, but I'm gonna go put these where they belong. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to empty this bowl. This bowl is where we put a lot of little things that were either part of orders and then we have to take out for whatever reason or we just took them out and then they never got put back where they belong. So I'm going to go and put all of this stuff in its rightful home. Okay guys, so it is quite a bit later. It is about 5.30 now. I'm gonna get ready to head home. I have some more work I need to do, but all of that can be done from home. Some days I prefer to work here, some days I prefer to work at home, and today is a home day. So I'm going to grab what I need to get my stuff done there and then head home. Okay guys, so it is a little after six now. I'm home, I have to stop at the grocery store. What I'm gonna do now is I need to take all of these pins out of their bags and I need to take the backs off of them. So this helps remove pin backs. I'll show you how it works once I get all of these out of their bag. But yeah, I'm just going to take these all out now. Okay, so the way this works is you put the pin on here and then you have to run it down this way and then it'll take the top bottoms off. I have not, I don't know if I can do this one handed, so I'm going to try. So you just slide it there and then you have to just slide it down and it's off. And then all the pin backs are stored underneath here and you can just take this off and get the pin backs out. So I'm gonna work on that now. Yeah. I'm all done as you can see this is all the pin backs in there got them all removed this thing works so well I got it off Etsy I'll try and link it below if you sell pins or even if you buy pins a lot this thing is so nice to have I cannot stress how well it works it makes life so much easier especially if you're working with enamel pins a lot so yeah I'm gonna put these aside and I'm gonna work on the weed guard ones all right, we got a bunch of weed god pins done. I have so many weed god pins. There's more down there. But um, yeah, when Sturdy Valley comes back, I think these will have a resurgence, so I'm glad I have the stock for them. Um, Cause I think Ray's gonna play it again once the new update comes out. But yeah, I am gonna get ready to call it a night as far as work is, is as far as work goes. Happy Monday, everybody. As you can see, we are at the store. I went to the gym and now I am here. I am, of course, answering emails and I am uh, getting ready to print off orders. So that's how I start every single day. So I'm just gonna do that and then I will check back in with you. The beginning of each of these vlogs is probably gonna be a little boring, except Wednesday, Wednesday, tomorrow will be fun. But a bit of this job is very repetitive. So pack orders time. It will not create the labels. They keep failing because it says that stamps.com has timed out. So it cannot, oh, we got another one. I've been trying so many times to do this. Oh, come on. This is the most we've gotten. Oh my God, it might actually work. Okay, I'm gonna try and print these off. Oh my God, this might be it. 
We might be able to get the rest of them. <laughs> Go, little thing. Oh, no! Oh, absolute defeat. Each time it seems like it does about half, so I'm just having to do it in slow little batches. This is taking so much longer than it should, but we will get there. All right, guys, I gotta be careful because there's orders everywhere, but I need to pick up a bit. We have these, which these are, look how many there are. This is what we ship like pins in, these little bubbled envelopes. Or if you get a bunch of stickers or something, small orders get shipped in this. And I just finished the box we had, so I have this box. I think there's a hundred in here. So I need to put some in the packing area, and then I need to put the rest of them in storage. <coughs> I have all of this cardboard here that needs to go down in the trash pile that we have downstairs. I have this over here. Those are the couple extra mouse pads we've kept to give to people in the future, like friends, family, whatever. Um, these are just tools. I have a drill over there. So this is just a messy area. So I'm going to clean up this area real quick. All right, much better. Walkway is clear. Makes bringing things in and out a lot easier. The next thing I need to do is restock up here. So this half is frame weight water bottles and this half is supposed to be brown crown water bottles, but I have pulled them all. So now I need to get them ready. I mean, restocked. All right guys, so here are how the water bottles come to us. I flipped this one upside down to check what color is in here. Um, but they all come in these white boxes. It's got a hole in it. This is kind of jacked up. Um, boxed up. And there's no markings on them to let us know which is which. So what I need to do is I have these. And what we do is we take one out. I've already checked the color on this one, so that's easy. This is a blue. You take a blue dot. And you put it on the front of the box so that when we go to pack orders, we know there's a blue water bottle in here and we don't accidentally give somebody a crown water bottle when they ordered a frame rate one. So I have to tag all of these and I have three more boxes of these I have to do. That's an assortment of blue water bottles and black water bottles and then I can stock them. This is one of those tasks that's like some days I'm like, fuck yeah, all I want to do is a simple task like put dots on a water bottle and other days I'm like, God, I would rather do anything then color code these but got to get done today so i'm going to go ahead and work on it All right, good news and bad news. Good news is I got two boxes done. Bad news is I actually have four I need to do, so I've done all the blue, so now I need to dot all the black ones. It's the same exact process, except with black dots. So yeah, if you can kind of see over there, I restocked the blue water bottles. We will restock the black soon. Okay, so I've restocked this quite a bit. I didn't restock all of these because I would need to open the last box, which has 25 and 25 can't fit there. So once we clear down enough where I can fit the next 25, I will put them up. But the blue is completely restocked and we got a, quite a bit of the black ones. And then look, we have, I don't know if I've showed these. These are little drawings that Bilby did of our different like beanies and stuff. I'm still getting the other ones for the missing drawers, but they are just stuck on there. They're little stickers so that we know which beanie is in which drawer. I probably will need to restock this at some point this week, but I gotta get ready to head to the post office now. All right, so here are all the packages I have to take to the post office. 
Um, if I get them to the post office before 5 p.m., they go out tonight. So that's what I generally try and do. So we're going to head over there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record it because, I don't know, I feel weird recording at the post office because I don't know if you're allowed to. Um, and I want to make sure I never, ever record something that's, like, not our stuff. If I can't, I'll put in, like, an old clip from a previous vlog where I was able to show you guys uh, me putting the packages at the post office. But we do separate them. So one bin is first class, one bin is priority uh, because you have to separate them once you get to the post office. So it's just easier to do it here. Um, these bins just st stay under here. Sometimes we'll have obviously much bigger bins, but luckily each one can fit in a bin. So I'm gonna take these down and load them up in the car and get ready to head to the post office. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Um, of course, we're at the store. Um, I think I said that today was supposed to be an exciting day because I got my days confused and actually tomorrow is going to be a fun day. Today is a pretty standard day. I did get scratched in the face this morning, so ignore this. Um, but as always, I am printing off orders, getting ready to package them. I do have a worker coming today to patch the hole in the ceiling. Um, that they had to cut to dry out a bunch of the wood from when the AC flooded. So he's supposed to be here in the next like 30 minutes to an hour. So hopefully um, he shows up on time. But yeah, I am just gonna print off orders and I will show you what I was working on that I didn't um, have time to vlog. So I'm trying to get quotes for some new items. Um, so I make these like super simple photoshops of what we're looking for. Um, I think, and I've been looking into price margins on women's tees and crop tees to see if that would be worth it. But yeah, um, I did these this morning, priced out how many I would want to try, chose the number of each size we would want, and I sent that over to the print company we work with for a quote, so I'm hoping to get that back soon um, so I can decide if that is something we're going to be able to do. So I really want to do card holders on the site. It's something I've been thinking about doing for a while, and I do like this style. I'm not crazy about the color, however, generally, if you're doing like custom ones, they will have all the different leathers you can choose from. Here you go. So here's kind of a sample. Um, normally they'll send you a picture like this showing the different leathers they have. I want to do just a black one so it shouldn't be too hard. Almost every manufacturer has just like a black fake leather. Um, and then they show the different ways you can like customize them and give you some examples on packaging options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact them. I'm going to see how much they would charge me to do maybe a hundred of these. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do like Ray's crown logo embossed here. I think I could also maybe come up with a fun design. I thought about doing one that says sell out across here. That might look nice. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna send them a message real quick and see what price they can quote me. And then I'm gonna look at a couple other manufacturers to see if they have anything better. So on Alibaba, what you can also do is an RFQ, which is a request for a quotation, which will post what you want to relevant manufacturers and they can give you a quote. So this is what I'm including in mine. Um, I need it to the pattern type, which is like the logo or whatever, either embossing or hot stamping, depending on which one I'm gonna go with. Um, I want it to be for credit cards. I want it to be like fake leather. Preferably they have multiple colors. OEM and ODM mean that they can like customize something and I'm not just going to buy like blank, um, you know, stock wallets from them. MOQ is like your, the minimum order they'll accept. So I'm only looking to a hundred, so they have to have at least a hundred. Um, and then these are the other ones. It'll like kind of fill this out for you and then you can change what you want. So I've just edited it to this. Um, these are some other type of, these are some other types of customization places have and then what's it used for credit card bills and ID so I know I shouldn't be touching my screen like that but I do so I'm gonna post this and I'm gonna see if I get many manufacturers sometimes it's helpful to have multiple quotes so you can try and figure out what's best all right guys so the uline stuff I ordered on Sunday is here so I'm going to unpack it it's all boxes so I'm gonna stack them over on the side where I put all the boxes 
and I will show you that once I am done. All right, guys, so a bit of an update. Hold on, let me lower the air down a bit. Anyway, um, it is 5.02. Of course, the guy just finished. Um, so I can't go and drop off orders because the post office is done for the day. So I'll have to go do that first thing in the morning. Um, I know today was probably the worst vlog wise, but when he was working on the drywall, there's a lot of noise and he kept asking me questions. So it's very hard to vlog what I did, but I'm going to try and put together what I can from today. So hopefully today was okay. I do need to go to the grocery store and stop at the P.O. box. Um, and then I'm going to head home for the day. So sorry today wasn't super in depth, but sometimes you just got to deal with shit. Tomorrow should be fun. I will catch up with you guys then. Ooh, a little different. We're starting in the inventory room today. Happy Wednesday, guys. I know I said today was supposed to be a fun day, but it's not. Uh, I mean, it is, but uh, originally I was supposed to be able to go up to the print shop today and pick up um, some restock stuff, drop off new items to get made, stuff like that. But they didn't send me over the information and invoice in time, so I'm not going to be able to go up today. I'm hopefully going to be able to do that tomorrow. We will see. But my sister is here. She is helping me pack orders. <laughs> she just waved off camera, but you guys can't see her. <laughs> but, um, so we're going to pack up all the orders that we have, and then we are probably going to start making a list of everything. I need to restock and start some Black Friday planning. Hell yeah. But yeah, uh, I will check back in with you guys once I have finished packing all the orders. All right, so as you can see, all the orders are packed. My sister is being the best and helping me bring them all down. We have three baskets to take today. Took a long time because box things take way longer. And I also cleaned up this area. So these are all like the different stickers we use. Those are like stickers we use to label things, the business cards. Extra bins to put small things on for the pick list. And then these are our packing slips that have everybody's different marking on them. So that's Ray's, that's mine, that's my sister's. And then these are extra flats for when we did the mascot tournament print. But yeah, I think this looks really good. I'm happy with it. When we have extra pins, we don't have any right now that aren't on card backs, they go in here. Because I'll only like card back about half of them at a time because it takes so long. But yeah, I think this looks good. Remember like two days ago or three days ago when I cleaned up all the trash and now I have all this other trash that I need to break down and bring downstairs? This is like... Every day I probably spend about 30 minutes just like cleaning up shit. So, gonna clean this up again for like the hundredth time. Okay, so one of the other things I did today is I started printing off some of these photos that people have tweeted us of them wearing the merch or put on Instagram. Um, I'm super excited. Uh, we're gonna cover like a whole wall in these. So these are six by six images and I want to cover an entire wall in all these pictures. I just put out a tweet um, for people to send some more. Um, so hopefully we get some more um, and we can cover the whole wall. So I think I have 36 of them right now. I have to measure the wall and see how many I will need. But if you guys happen to see this and you haven't tweeted a picture, please tweet me or the store account picture of you in the merch so that I can include you on the wall. Very, very excited. Okay guys, I am trying to get the energy to drive over to the post office and unload all the packages. I really don't want to do it. I hate so much when we have tons of boxed orders because I can only carry so many at a time. And so I have to make like a lot of trips to and from the parking lot to where you drop off the packages. And it's fucking like a hundred degrees out 
and I don't want to drive over there, but it's 105. Let me see if I can show you. You see that? 105. But it's not going to get any cooler between now and then. Uh, between like now and when they close. So I might as well just go now. Um, it's about 3.30. So it's a good time because they will definitely go out today if I get them there now. I do need to stop at the P.O. Box and check that. Because um, I'm waiting on some from some stuff. And then I have a phone call with the print shop to try and figure out the invoice thing. Because they sent me the invoice. And what they had told me previously and what's quoted on the invoice are different. Minorly different, but like still, it's different. So I'm going to try and talk with them and see why the prices are changing. Um, and I also need to do research on backup places to have stuff made in case this shit keeps happening. But yeah. Right now, we're gonna go to the post office. My game plan is I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and get a coffee to like push me uh, to go to the post office. So that's what we're gonna go do. I will probably check back in with you guys next time when I am home. Good news guys, it stopped raining. Even better news, there's like nothing on the dock. So I think I can record me dropping off the packages. I gotta just gotta be careful to make sure I don't actually record any of the like packages addresses or anything but I'm gonna try and show you from here so this is the dock and then like right over there I'll try and put a little graphic on the screen is where I drop off the packages but I gotta walk around all that so I'm gonna take some over and I will try and record a little bit of it for you all Okay, so I'll talk to you guys about this real quick. So I have a pretty good parking. This is probably like some of the best parking I can get where I'm right next to the dock. However, during the holidays, this parking lot that I'm in becomes a tent and they save packages here. So you can't park here. So a lot of the time I have to park like over there. The parking lot's really empty today. But normally I have to park over there somewhere and then walk up this long ramp come all the way around and then get there but luckily I don't have to park over there I got good parking next to the dock and that didn't take too long so yay Happy Thursday, everybody. Look at us in a new location. We are in the garage. This is kind of where I store a bunch of extra stuff. Like, that's all the shelving we used at RTX. This is a massive trash pile that I need um, haulers to come pick up. But I'm getting ready to head up to Industry, which is the print shop we work with. Um, and I have to drop off some blanks that they're going to print on for us. Sometimes they source them for us. Sometimes we provide them. So today, I'm both picking up an order that they... Uh, have completed for us and dropping stuff off. So I have this blue bin here and I'm going to try and fit all these boxes, the contents into here so I can just drop this one blue bin off to them. Okay, so this is pretty filled. I might actually see if I can fit it in a box because um, it might be easier depending on how heavy this blue crate is with everything in there. And then those three boxes are all 
like um, the green hoodies for my collection. I'm getting them redone, so I also have to bring those, and there's no way three boxes of hoodies was going to fit in anything. So that box there is pretty empty, so I might just transfer it to that and bring only boxes, but I will see. All right, guys, all the stuff is in the car. It is so hot and gross out, but I got it all loaded up. I'm going to get ready to head out. I just got to check two things in my office, and then I am going to hit the road. All right, so we are getting ready to head to the print shop. I got an email that I have packages to pick up at the P.O. box, and all of our embroidery stuff is done, so we actually have a lot of stops we got to make today. But it should be exciting. I think I'm going to stop at the P.O. box first so that I can get, like, a Diet Coke from McDonald's to have on the drive up. And then um, make a big loop and go to the print shop. And then the fucking uh, a pair of uh, the embroidery shops, like, out near the airport, which, like, for Austin is kind of, like, in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to go have to drive over there. And then I'm probably going to get stuck in 5 o'clock traffic on the way home. So... Anyway, well, let's start the journey. Okay, I'm in the McDonald's drive through but look, there's parking directly in front of the UPS store. I guarantee you by the time I get through this drive through somebody's gonna take it. Probably this car right here. Make a right, make a right. Oh, fuck. All right, let's see if they take that parking spot. I should've just gone to the UPS store first because there's parking there. Oh, I gotta move forward. Oh, I don't think they're gonna take it. Okay, I'll update you all. Okay, so we got some frame rate coasters. I think these are so cute. I just wanted to have some of these. We might include them with some orders, but I just wanted to keep them at the store and at home for people to use. And then, they're just like paper coasters. And then we got these, which I thought were gonna be, which I thought I ordered a larger size of, but I guess not, so I'm probably gonna have to reorder. But look at them. This is for Christmas. Also, I got the parking right in front of the UPS store. Um, but these are really cute. I'm trying to decide, you guys can maybe let me know, if you think selling both of these together as a pack would be good or selling larger ones individually. So let me know what you guys think. I'm super excited. I also got a couple other things like, I got these, which are like to label the drawers that these are in. So I'll be able to do that later, which will be nice. But yeah, I'm super happy. Um, I also got something else kind of cool, but I will have to show you when we get home because I cannot show you in my car. But yeah, now to the print shop. Okay, so now that those are picked up, I'm gonna head to the embroidery shop. Hopefully that drive won't take too long. It's only actually 220, so I might be able to not get stuck in traffic. So that's gonna be the goal. I do have to get a check ready for the embroidery place, but shouldn't hopefully take too long. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, we are at the embroidery shop now. That took literally so long because 183 is garbage. It took so long I had time to like brush my hair while I just sat in traffic. But it's okay, we made it in time, so it's fine. So I'm going to go inside, uh, drop off the check for payment, and then load it up. It should only be one box, it's just rose hats. So I'm gonna go get that. All right, so in these packing cubes, I should have opened them, hold on, I'm gonna open them first. All right, so in here are a bunch of pins that I had at the house that I had put the pin backs 
put them on their pin backs. So now I need to put these all away where they belong. But luckily, uh, this is good that we had these because we're running really low on Riley ones. So I'm going to do that now. Alright, so the next thing I have to do is put these on the drawers that they're in to label them. Um, so they are currently missing. I will show you the drawers. Bill V did these for us. I think I've talked about them before. But as you can see, on the drawers here, they're labeled. So we know what goes where. But these three are missing. So I'm going to put these on there so that everything is labeled. Alright, so there we go. They're all labeled. we got pom-pom beanies all on the side. Regular beanies on the left side with the purple slouchy one on the bottom. I'm really, ha really, really happy with how it looks. friends it is friday which means it's my last day before my day off because saturdays is my day off and i figured i would just give you guys an update as you can probably guess i came in this morning answered emails printed off orders etc so now i'm gonna restock rose hats and then i want to show you the other thing i got the post office box i mean it's ups box yesterday that i said i would show you that i never actually did so, I'm gonna get that out and I will show you and then I'm gonna restock these and I'll show you that restocked as well. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. We got so many of them. Hopefully people still want them because I ordered quite a bit on the restock, so here's hoping. Okay, so it's a little messed up because it's like rolled in a tube and I have to flatten it out. But I got this large vinyl decal of our like logo. This was, this is two feet by two feet obviously. It's a large circle and I'm excited. I really wanna put this up. So I think I'm gonna need a really big one for downstairs but I just wanna see what it would look like um, in the quality and stuff before I invested in a large one. So I'm super happy with this. This might go in my office and then the stuff, uh, I might get a big one for the wall downstairs behind the couch. Look how many photos I've gotten from everybody who like tweeted us pictures. I'm so happy. I can't wait to start on this. I'm probably gonna start on it next week. But yeah, super happy with these, very excited for how the photo wall is going to turn out. If you don't know, I'm going to cover a small wall in these pictures, and it's pictures of people wearing our merch. So if you want to be a part of it, uh, just tweet the store account, a picture of you wearing the merch, uh, and I will add you. It helps if it's a square photo, but if not, I've been cropping a lot of them. But uh, we have like, I think there's like 60 something here, and I need a minimum of 78. So we're getting there. All right, guys, so I'm going to work on redoing this whiteboard. There's no way for me to time lapse it because I'm going to be blocking everything. But I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. This is the whiteboard that I keep in my office. Um, so I just need to add some things to it. I used to use it to plan, like, uh, events and stuff. But since we don't have any events coming up, I'm going to start putting stuff for Black Friday and whatnot. All right, so here's this. I have a lot I have to fill in, but I don't want to have to... I can't vlog some of it. So the top part of it... I'm gonna start tracking order issues um, so I can see if there's any patterns or anything. So this would be the name and order number, the reason they're contacting us. When we got their email or DM, when we reshipped or refund them or whatever we need to do for the order, and then either when the package is delivered, if we reshipped, or when the follow-up email was sent saying that their refund was completed. Um, so then down here, I have a list of things that are already on order and being produced that we're waiting for. 
these are i'm gonna write in here the special items that we're gonna have for halloween and the special christmas winter items i don't want to fill that in yet <laughs> until after i vlog and then over here i'm starting everything that i need to make sure i have ready for black friday um it's a 91 days so that's a countdown and so yeah that's gonna go here and then i have to go through inventory room and fill this out ray wrote i love you on there so i never erase that but should be good this should help me a little I'm excited. I know my lines are not that straight and they're kind of crooked, but I did all this freehand, so not too bothered, but I'm happy with that. I'm going to fill in all the information now. Um, I won't be able to show you guys afterwards, but I'm going to write in what I can. All right, so this is sort of related, not related to the store, but I just sat and did this list of everything that needs to be renovated or repaired. If I spelled anything wrong, I don't really care. I'm bad at spelling. Um, I'm sure I'll think of things else that I'm working on or trying to get done, but it's nice to just have this as a quick reminder of everything that I still need to do. Um, but yeah, pretty happy that I'm getting everything together. And that's a week in my work life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to show you as much as I could. Obviously there were some things I couldn't show or some things I would forgot to film, but I just wanted to give you guys a little insight into what I do every day for frame rate. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer them. See you guys next time. Bye!